density is the property that determines whether objects are going to float or sink in the fluid systems. And high density sinks, low density floats. So a hot air balloon floats because hot air is less dense than cold air. Wood floats on water because wood, most wood is lower density than water. Ice floats on water because ice is lower density than water. Steel sinks in water because steel is higher density than water. Density is hard to measure directly. We usually have to measure it um, in two measurements, mass and volume. And mass divided by volume is density. So mass per volume is density. We write that algebraically as D equals M over V. So D for density, M for mass, V for volume. And how can we tell that that M is not meters? Well, because to be meters, it would have a number in front of it. So meters is a unit, it follows a number. This by itself in the equation is a property. And most of the time that is mass for M, V for volume, D for density. The typical units that we use are grams per ml or grams per cubic centimeter for liquids and solids, or what we call condensed phases. And since a milliliter is a cubic centimeter, these have the same numerical value. For gases, which are much less dense than liquids or solids, we usually use grams per liter. And a equivalency that, that uh, is useful at times is that grams per ml is also equal to kilograms per liter. The one density I expect us to memorize is density of water, which is one gram per ml. So ml, of course, is a small volume, and that would be one gram of water. And because of this equivalency up here, a liter of water will also weigh one kilogram. So density of water is also one kilogram per liter. So just um, practicing the whether things will sink or float, if we have an object that has a density of 0.98 grams per ml, will it float when sink in water? Well, water is one, 0.98 is less than one, lower density than one, so this object will float. If an object has a density of 1.15 grams per ml, will it float or sink in water? Well, 1.15 is larger than one, higher density, so that will sink. Let's do some calculations. So in this case, we have a 615 gram block with dimensions of 2.9 centimeters by 3.5 centimeters by 10 centimeters. So of course, a volume is length times width times height. So we're gonna do um, 2.9 centimeters times 3.5 centimeters times 10 centimeters. Run that through the calculator. Oops, wrong number. So we get a 101.5 cubic centimeters. So we multiply these together, we're multiplying the units, so we're going to end up with cubic centimeters. So now our density, which is mass over volume, we have 615.0 grams over um, 101.5 cubic centimeters. Run that through our calculator. We end up with um, 6.059, etc. We look at our intermediate answer. We have two digits, two digits, three digits. We're really allowed 
two significant digits, two digits, so two digits in our answer. So we don't want to round this one down here. So it's always best to wait for the very end before we round. So this comes out to be a 6.1. Number we're cutting off is five, so we're going to round up 6.1 grams per cubic centimeter. So here we have an object 8.25, and we put it in a cylinder with water. So if we have an odd shape object, we can't calculate the volume as we do with a rectangular block up here. So we do it by displacement. So we put water into a graduate cylinder. Graduate cylinder is our measuring cup of the laboratory. So we put water in there, we measure our initial water, add our object, make sure there's no air bubbles, measure the vo final volume. So our volume object is gonna be the final 26.47 minus the initial 21.25. We end up with 5.22 milliliters. So now we do our density, mass over volume. So we have our 8.25 grams divided by 5.22 milliliters. We have three digits. Uh, let me see here. This one, two decimal places, two decimal places. That means the whole number or three digits is good. So we're allowed three digits in our answer 1.58 grams per ml for the density. And so let's go in another direction. We have our density playing with a, a compound with the same density here. Uh, this is the density of chloroform. But if we have um, an amount of mass, let's just start writing it down 1.145 grams. So our units. Um, I units to grams per ml, so I can't multiply them together. So I want to divide by it. So I'll put the grams on bottom 1.4483. Grams on bottom, 1 ml on top. You can also get this by solving this. For volume, we multiply the other versions, we multiply across so density times volume equals mass. And then to get volume, we divide by density. So our volume is mass over density. So we can solve it algebraically, we can solve it by unit analysis, either one. But otherwise, we run this through our calculator. And uh, we have uh, four digits, four digits. We can actually have four digits on this. We have 0. 0.7721 milliliters for the answer. So just starting off with a different number here. So 45.3 grams. Again, we're gonna be dividing by our density 1.483 grams per one ml. And we're allowed three digits in the answer, so 30.5 milliliters. Now going in another direction for mass, we can start off with our milliliters, 34.5 milliliters. Now we see that if we multiply them, we'll cancel off milliliters, get grams. That's what it says in the equation up here also. We have 1.48. 
three grams per one ml. And we'll have three significant digits here, so it'll be 51.2 grams. So let's do one more. This is on the double-sided worksheet. This is a longer problem. So we're given that we have uh, 0.75 liters of mercury. This density is 13.546 grams per ml. We're saying what volume of ethyl would have the same mass as the mercury. And we're given our density of the ethanol is 0.789. So to answer this question, we have to know what the mass of mercury is. So mercury has a high density, ethanol has a low density. So I know my volume is going to be larger. So I'm just going to convert this gram per ml into kilogram per liter. Because I know I'm going to have a larger number than this. So liter seems like an appropriate unit to use. So to get my mass, I'm going to start with the mark I'm doing mercury here right here. So for the mercury, symbol is Hg. I have um, 0.750 liters. I'm going to multiply by the density. So 13.546 kilograms per one liter. So we end up with, uh, let me see what digits we have, three significant digits, so 10, I'll carry one and round at the end. So we have 10.16 kilograms of mercury. So now we're saying that we have the same mass of ethanol, and we want to know what this volume is going to be. So for ethanol, I abbreviate that as ETOH. The reason that ET is, this means ethyl, and OH means alcohol, and ethanol is ethyl alcohol. So we have um, 10.16 kilograms, and we're looking for volume with our density here. Again, we can convert this gram per ml directly into kilograms per liter. So we can't multiply them, we have to divide them, so it'd be 0 0.789 kilograms per one liter. So I didn't round my number yet. Uh, I'm really only allowed three digits based on that. I'm going to be allowed three based on this. I'll do the rounding at the very end. So that 10.16 divided by 0.789 equals now rounding at the end, that'll give me 12.9 liters of the ethanol.